Hey everybody, Dr. Nelson here. Now, this is an interactive video lesson about permutations. So what's going to happen is you're going to take notes with me for the first two pages, and then you have a chance to pause the video and try a couple problems on your own, and then at the end you can see how you did. Alright, so what exactly is a permutation? Well, a permutation is a, a collection of things where the order is important. So let's write that down right here. So it's a collection of things in which the order is important. All right, if you notice, I wrote the word is in capitals. It's kind of messy, but you get the idea. And do me a favor, if you please box that in. All right, that's really the really important thing about permutations is that it, it's a collection of things where the order matters, okay? So let me give you an example. Let's say, um, you and say two friends are running a race, right? So let's say it's uh, you and then let's say uh, Jim and Sarah are running a race, right? So you line up and you, and you sprint for the finish line. Now, do you, don't you agree that only one person can get first place? So let's say, for example, let's say you get first place. Let's put you right here, all right? That means you can't be in either second place or third place, right? And that also means that Jim or Sarah both can't be in first place. So because you're in first place, right, there's only one spot for Jim and Sarah. So the order matters. Right? And that's really what a permutation is all about. All right. And what you're going to be familiar with is this little expression here, where this right here will actually give you the amount of permutations uh, for, for a problem. So basically, I'll explain this a little bit more, but anytime you see this NPR, the N value okay, is the total number of objects. And then the R value is the number of objects you're picking. All right. So this will make a little more sense in a second, but let's turn the page and let's take a look at this. All right. So according to our expression, the five is going to be the N value. And then the two is going to be the R value. All right. So remember the N is the total number of items and the R is the, is the number of items that you're picking. All right. So the expression is going to be n factorial divided by n minus r factorial. So now all you, all you do is plug it into what you know. All right, so we know that the 5 is going to be at the top, so it's 5 factorial all over. Well, 5 take away 2 uh, factorial because 5 is the n and 2 is the r. So that's going to be 3 factorial. Again, the way I got that is I did 5 take away 2 and I got 3. All right, so now let's expand this out. So five factorial really means five times four, times three, times two, times one, all over. Three factorial means three times two and times one. And now because we have a fraction, we can cross off the common factors. So I cross off the three, the two and the one. And finally, five times four gives us 20. All right, so here's the scenario. Let's say we have five runners and there can only be a first place and a second place, right? That means there's 20 possible combinations or, or sorry, permutations of a first place and second place finish. All right, one more problem here. It says a team of nine players needs to pick a captain and a co-captain. How many possibilities are there? All right, so let's set up our expression here. So it's going to be P. Well, the N value is going to be nine. And then the R value is going to be the two, right? So now when we set this up, it's going to be 9 factorial on the top over, well, 9 take away 2 is 7, so 7 factorial on the bottom. And now when we expand this, it's going to be 9 times 8 times 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1, all over 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. And you should see a pattern here, right? These are all going to cancel out. So the six factors, the five factors, the four, the three, the two, and the one. And what's left over is the nine times eight, which is 72. So there's 72 different ways that nine players could name a captain 
and a co-captain. All right. So the big thing to remember about permutation is it's a collection of things where the order is important. All right. So when you pause the video and try the your turn now problems, and when you're done, hit play. You can see how you did. All right. Good luck. All right, welcome back. Let's say you do these practice problems. So here there was six items to choose from and you're selecting four items. So if you did this right, you should have ended up with 360 as, as an answer. All right, so again, it's six factorial over the difference of the N and R value, which is two, right? Because six take away four is two, so two factorial. And then when you reduce the common factors, you end up with an answer of 360. Now this one was a little more challenging because you had to set up the expression but it says the student body of eight students wants to elect a president, vice president, secretary, and treasurer. How many different possibilities are there? Well, again, the N value is eight because there's eight students, and the R value is four because there's four different positions. And if you did this right, you should end up with 1,680 different possibilities. All right, so hopefully you did well with these. If you made a mistake, try to find your error, uh, but hopefully now you have a better understanding of what a permutation is and how to calculate it using the formula. All right, bye-bye.